The Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art is a Chinese mathematics book, composed by several generations of scholars from the 10th 2nd century BCE, its latest stage being from the 2nd century CE. This book is one of the earliest surviving mathematical texts from China, the first being Xuan Shu Shu and Zhou by Xuan Jing. It lays out an approach to mathematics that centers on finding the most general methods of solving problems which may be contrasted with the approach common to ancient Greek mathematicians, who tended to deduce propositions from an initial set of axioms. Entries in the book usually take the form of a statement of a problem, followed by the statement of the solution, and an explanation of the procedure that led to the solution. These were commented on by Lu Hui in the 3rd century. History the full title of the nine chapters on the mathematical art appears on two bronze standard measures which are dated to 179 CE, but there is speculation that the same book existed beforehand under different titles. Most scholars believe that Chinese mathematics and the mathematics of the ancient Mediterranean world had developed more or less independently up to the time when the nine chapters reached its final form. The method of chapter 7 was not found in Europe until the 13th century, and the method of chapter 8 uses Gaussian elimination before Carl Friedrich Gauss. There is also the mathematical proof given in the treatise for the Pythagorean theorem. The influence of the nine chapters greatly assisted the development of ancient mathematics in the regions of Korea and Japan. Its influence on mathematical thought in China persisted until the Qing Dynasty era. Lu Hu wrote a very detailed commentary on this book in 263. He analyzes the procedures of the nine chapters step by step in a manner which is clearly designed to give the reader confidence that they are reliable. Although he is not concerned to provide formal proofs in the Euclidean manner, Lu's commentary is of great mathematical interest in its own right. Lu credits the earlier mathematicians Zhang Kang and Geng Shouchang with the initial arrangement in commentary on the book. Yet Han Dynasty records do not indicate the names of any authors of commentary, as they are not mentioned until the 3rd century. The Nine Chapters is an anonymous work, and its origins are not clear. Until recent years there was no substantial evidence of related mathematical writing that might have preceded it with the exception of mathematical work by those such as Jing Fang, Lu Xin, and Zhang Heng and the geometry clauses of the Mozi of the 4th century BCE. This is no longer the case. The Su An Shu Shu or Writings on Reckoning is an ancient Chinese text on mathematics approximately 7,000 characters in length, written on 190 bamboo strips. It was discovered together with other writings in 1983 when archaeologists opened a tomb in Hubei province. It is among the corpus of texts known as the Zhang Zhashan Han bamboo texts. From documentary evidence this tomb is known to have been closed in 186 BCE, early in the Western Han Dynasty. While its relationship to the nine chapters is still under discussion by scholars, some of its contents are clearly paralleled there. The text of the Su An Shu Shu is however much less systematic than the nine chapters, and appears to consist of a number of more or less independent, short sections of text drawn from a number of sources. The Zhou Bai Su An Jing, a mathematics and astronomy text was also compiled during the Han, and was even mentioned as a school of mathematics in and around 180 CE by Kai Yong. Table of Contents Contents of the nine chapters are as follows. Function, rectangular fields, areas of fields of various shapes, manipulation of vulgar fractions. Lu Hui's commentary includes a method for calculation of pi and the approximate value of 3.14159. Sumi, millet, and rice, exchange of commodities at different rates, pricing, quifen, proportional distribution distribution of commodities and money at proportional rates. Xiaoguang, the lesser breadth, division by mixed numbers, extraction of square and cube roots, dimensions, area and volume of circle and sphere. Shangong, consultations on works, volumes of solids of various shapes. 
John Shu, equitable taxation, more advanced problems on proportion, Ying Bazu, excess and deficit, linear problems solved using the principle known later in the West as the rule of false position, Fang Cheng, the rectangular array, systems of linear equations, solved by a principle similar to Gaussian elimination, Gaoju, base and altitude, problems involving the principle known in the West as the Pythagorean theorem, accessibility, abridged English translation, Florian Kajori, arithmetic in nine sections, 1893, abridged English translation, Lam Lei Yong, Zhu Zhang Suan Shu, an overview, archive for history of exact science, 1994 Spring of Furlag, a full translation and study of the nine chapters and Lu Hui's commentary is available in Shen Kangshan, the nine chapters on the mathematical art. Oxford 1999, ISBN 0-19-853936-3, a French translation with detailed scholarly addenda and a critical edition of the Chinese text of both the book and its commentary is Chemla, Karine, and Shuchun Guo, 2004, Les Neuf Chapters, Le Classique Mathematique de la Chine Ancienne Ases Commentaires, Paris, Dunard, ISBN 9782100495894, German translation, Kurt Vogel, Neunbucher Arithmetische Technik, Friedrich Weiwe und Sohn Braunschweig 1968, Russian translation, E. Ibrereskina, Mathematica v. Devyati Nigger, Moscow Science Press 1980, Japanese translation, 